Storytime Saturdays. Today I'm going to be reading to you from Solano Beach in California. We're going to read Star of the Sea, A Day in the Life of a Starfish by Janet Hathman. This is where you can come to hear all your favorite stories read aloud by me. I'm children's author Phoebe Fox. Let's get started. blink in the night sky above the rocky coast. Beneath the crashing waves, another kind of star clings to the rocks with hundreds of sticky tube feet. She is an ochre sea star, the common starfish of the Pacific coast. As the high tide rushes in, sea star crawls onto the shore to hunt. Water flows into an opening in her top, and she pumps the water into her feet, making them work on the now flooded land. She inches along, twisting her flat body like a pretzel. Her mouth is on her underside, and she doesn't have a head or tail end. Tiny red eye spots at the tips of her rays tell her light from dark. She leads first with one ray, then another, heading for the mussels growing halfway up the shore. All around her, the shore has come to life under the refreshing tide waters. Sea snails wander over the rocks and graze on algae. Sea anemones open like flowers. Crabs scoot out from cracks between the rocks. Sea star tries to grab a limpet for a snack, but the limpet quickly covers its shell with its slippery mantle. Sea star can't get a grip. She gives up and continues on her journey. Suddenly, a rock beneath her teachers, flipping her upside down. A fish swims over to nibble at her soft tube feet, but not for long. Like a circus acrobat, she folds over two of her rays and grips the rocky shore with her sticky feet. She somersaults, landing right side up. The fish doesn't like her tough, spiny top and swims away. Finally, Sea Star reaches the mussel bed. She hunches over a big mussel and grips its two shells with her strong feet. The tug of war is on. As she tries to pull open the shells, the mussel struggles to keep them closed. But Sea Star won't get tired. Her many feet work like a relay team with some resting and others pulling. Soon the mussels' shells open just a crack. That's enough. Sea Star extends her stomach right out of her mouth and into the tiny crack. Slowly, her stomach turns the mussels' soft body to liquid right inside the shells. When Sea Star is done eating, she pulls her stomach back in. Only the shells of the mussel are left. All night long, Sea Star feasts on mussels. When the tide starts to flow back to the sea in the morning, she is still eating. She finishes the last of her mussel, then heads down the shore toward the sea and home. But she waited too long. The edge of the tide soon passes her by, leaving her uncovered on the shore. Without water, her tube feet will not work for long. As she feels for a crack where she can hide and stay moist, Keen eyes spot her from above. A seagull swoops down and snatches her. The hungry bird lifts Sea Star high into the sky by one ray, gripping her tighter and tighter till, chomp! The bird bites right through her ray. Sea Star drops onto the seashore, startled but alive. The seagull is left holding only a ray. Quickly, Sea Star slides into a moist crack between two rocks. She is safe. In the afternoon, when the waters of high tide flow onto the shore once again, Sea Star completes her return home. At the ocean's edge, she crawls under some seaweed to rest. With time, Sea Star's lost ray will grow back, but for now, she will continue to hunt with four rays to the rhythm of the tide. The back of this book is full of amazing sea star facts. 
I hope you enjoyed Star of the Sea, a day in the life of a starfish. Please subscribe to Mama Fox Book Storytime Saturdays, and I'll see you next time.